Vivian Westwood's Fall 2023 show, held at the Hotel de la Marine in Paris, was one of the brand's most emotional yet. As the first presentation from the label, since the founder's passing in December 2022, her life partner and co-designer, Andreas Kronthala, paid tribute to the legendary designer through archival motifs that pulled from the heritage of the brand. Meanwhile, Paul Gautier, Jared Leto, and many more stars showed up in the dame's memory, sitting front row to take in the collection. It is my very personal tribute to her, Kronthala told. I think it's a very helpful process to go through something like this. I can create a new situation for myself. But at the moment, it's just still a strange period. The Andreas Kronthala for Vivian Westwood line, previously called Gold Label Collection until 2016, when it was renamed, was famously a collaboration by Kronthala and Westwood since the 90s. The Fall 2023 collection is the last Vivian Westwood collection that Westwood herself actually touched before she passed away. She still worked on it a little bit, noted Kronthala. I just keep thinking of her. Will she like it? Or is she going to wear it? I've always made everything with her in mind. The show opened with a blouse bearing a print of Westwood's face, paired with a mini skirt and platform shoes that took inspiration from the sky-high super elevated ghillie heels that Westwood invented. House models, who worked with Westwood since the beginning, like the iconic Sarah Starkbridge, wore leggings and cardigans inspired from the archives, and shed tears as the show closed. The final look saw Vivian Westwood's granddaughter wearing a corset and bloom a wedding get-up while carrying a little bouquet of white flowers. The use of ACDC's TNT, in between two contemplative waltzes, worked nicely to emphasize the explosive power of the Westwood codes, of which Kronthala is now the torchbearer. The platforms, the mini creamy, made more midi, that corsetry, the pirate boots and jerkins, the drunkenly undulating gathering and drape, and the gender fluid mix and matching, were all present in a collection that was overwhelmingly crafted from dead stock. The tracked and tinged Tyrolean overtones in darkly autumnal brown gilets, and some of those full skirts were Kronthala originated nuances that have long been assimilated within the broader Westwood canon. More personal touches included the eye makeup that Starkbridge's tears had smudged, a tribute to Westwood's own, and the pavé and metal pigs that were widely used as accessories. These referenced a wooden good luck charm that Westwood had acquired many years ago and kept on her mantle. Said Kronthala, I do think it's a very good thing to do, to continue, not stop anything, or make big decisions. Because you need to process things and you need to go through, it's something which happens to everybody. I thought I was very well prepared. But it's very strange. Only ever vaguely in her orbit, my own memories of Westwood contain two favorite moments. The first was before a show when she kept me talking for once about the clothes, so long that her exasperated team started it without her. The second was a few years later on the street in Berkeley Square, London, when she and Kronthala whizzed past me on their molten bikes, laughing. It must have been a wonderful time. Thanks for memories, Kronthala.